With AI, you can now spend less time reading documentation and tutorials for complicated plugins and instead spend more time building your second brain. One of these plugins is DataView, a powerful plugin that treats your notes as a database you can search from. But unfortunately, this powerful functionality comes at the cost of a high learning curve. For each search query you want to make, you have to know the different clauses, variables, expressions, and functions you can use to create these queries, and on top of all of the other plugins you have to learn, it's a lot to digest at once, especially if you're a beginner. So, in this video, I'll show you how you can instead just chat with ChatGPT and AI assistants to create these working queries for your Obsidian fault. So, to get AI to do what we want it to do, we need to give it instructions. And after experimenting a bit, I've created my own prompt to specifically help us with creating these data view queries. We can access this just by going to notes.johnmaverick.com and search up data view prompt in the search bar. So a little bit of overview. This prompt tells it what we expect to do. This prompt explains what a data view query is and also gives it common components of a data view query, as well as show questions and example answers, just so it knows kind of how to format its response. So I'm just going to copy paste this entire prompt and then create a new chat with this as the message. After its response, it's now ready to help. So now we can go back to the vault. So for an example, let's say in my vault, I have lots of notes I take from the videos I watch, which are created using this general input template. And if we go to an existing video note, in this case, the myth of productivity, we can see that each note has the input video tag and also has different metadata fields to classify the video, like the status, which is finished, links, which is linked to the productivity note, and the source for easy access to the video. And let's say I wanted to create a query to show all of my video notes, which will show the specific fields I mentioned earlier. And let's say that I wanted to create a my videos note to showcase all of these video notes as well as the fields I mentioned earlier. So I have an example query here. I'll have the note and I'll have the fields. So we can go back to ChatGPT and we can ask it to create this query for us by asking something like, please create a query that shows all my notes with the tag input videos because we need to show what the source is for all these notes and for each note, we want to show the field so we can say show the status, links, and source fields. Now we can just send the message and as you can see, it responds with a query that we can copy. So now if we go back to our vault and I'm just gonna paste it down here, it's only the content. So we will still need to wrap it in data view query code block syntax. So just three backticks, type in data view and then paste it. Now if we exit out. It looks pretty similar to the one above, but I want to make a few adjustments. It seems like these notes are being sorted in reverse alphabetical order, but instead I'd like to sort it by its created date and show the most recently created notes at the front. And if we go down to the bottom, we can see that some unwanted files are here, like my input and article file that I use for a different plugin which aren't necessarily video notes. These notes are both in the hidden folder, so I want to change the query to hide any notes from this folder, because this folder also includes things like templates, which could include the input videos tag as well. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT, and we can ask it to make the following revisions. For the first revision, we can say, can you please update the query? by also sorting it by created date in descending order. And for the second one, we could just say by not including the files in the hidden folder. Now we can send this message and we can try it to see if it works. Go back to the top and replace it. Oops. 
I'm sure I placed the content. I'm also going to add the created date so we can confirm that it is sorted in the right order. We exit. I don't know why I got scrolled to the bottom, but it seems to work. Sorting starts at December 24th and goes down. And if we go look through the query, it no longer shows the hidden notes anymore, which is pretty good. So yeah, this is good for basic queries, but if we want to make maybe more complex queries, if we go to data view documentation, there's a lot of different things that we aren't telling the assistant to do or to know. If we open this up, we are missing the different functions available. When creating data view queries, we are missing different expressions to show what arithmetic is available. And we're missing other clauses like group by, flatten, and limit in our prompt. And so if we try to include this all into our prompt, it's either not going to work because unless you have ChatGPT Plus, or if you're paying per use using the API, then it's going to be quite expensive. So we'd prefer to reduce the costs by not having as much text. Thankfully, we can use AI assistance to dynamically retrieve relevant information. And this allows for cheaper query creation and more information to be given to ChatGPT. AI assistants are recently added open AI feature that lets you create agents that follow your instructions, kind of like the prompt we had above, and while also having the opportunity to upload files to it. So you can upload your notes. And in my case, if we go to this note, I have three different notes that include the missing things I went over earlier. This one shows all the different functions we can use. This one shows the allowed expressions. And this one shows the commands available. I mean, clauses. How do we use AI assistants? You can use them using ChatGPT+, but I'm going to assume you don't have that. So what we can do instead is create an open AI account and go to platform.openai.com. You can technically create an assistant here and upload your prompt and files. But since these notes are already in Obsidian and this is an Obsidian video, I'm going to shamelessly use my new plugin, which lets you create these assistants from your notes. So we can go to community plugins, go to browse, search up intelligence, and then I have it already downloaded, but you just have to install it, then enable it. And after you'll have to go to the settings for intelligence and paste in your API key. And you can find it just by following this link platform.openai.com slash API dash keys. Create a new secret key, name it whatever, solve a puzzle, I guess. I honestly don't even know how to do this. There we go. And submit. There's another one. 21. There we go. There's another. Why is there four? Okay, just finished it. And now we can just copy it and put it in here. So now to see the AI assistance view, we can Press Command P to open up Command Palette, and we can search up Intelligence and Open Intelligence. I'm just going to clear that. So to create this assistant, I'm going to copy the prompt again, and then paste it here, and then go to my Data View demo note that contains all of these links to the related documentation notes. So now I'm just going to run the Command Palette again. And this time, create an assistant from the active note. So this will just take all the linked notes it's related to. Um, these are relevant. And I don't want to include this note itself. I just want to include these three. So I'm going to keep those. And for the instructions, I'm going to clear the default one and paste in the data view prompt from earlier. Now we can just click create. And it seems like it's created. So now what we can do is we can see if we can ask it a more complex question that uses these different notes. So for the data commands note, let's say that we only want to limit it to 10 notes shown in the query. And for one of the fields we want to show in the data view table, we can say that we want it to be the combination, which is um, addition arithmetic, for the outgoing and ingoing links of a file. And to properly get that, it will need to go to the data view functions file 
and use the length function on the list of outgoing links and ingoing links. So now we can ask it to do the following. Please create a query that shows all my notes with the tag hashtag input slash videos. And for each note, show the status, links, source, and total links field, which you can calculate by adding the total of the files incoming and outgoing links. Limit it to only 10 notes. Now, if we send this message and wait for it to think, it gives us this query, which we can just copy by clicking on the copy icon and by pasting it in here. Um, based on our instructions, seems like the limit is here. Seems like it used the length function and it seems like it added the incoming links and outgoing links together. So if I close this query, there we go. It shows total links. It only limits it to 10. And if we go to this note, we can see that there's one link here and in the link mentions, there is creating your own philosophy and my process inputs, which are three notes linked in total. So yeah, hope this helps. Thanks for watching until the very end. If you have any questions or want to help by coming up with better prompts or more use cases for other plugins, you can join my Discord server. If you're interested in learning how else you can use AI in Obsidian, you can check out my AI in Obsidian playlist. Alternatively, if you want to see how you can effectively use these data view queries in your vault to enhance your note-taking organization, you can check out this video here. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. This has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.